Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. One of my favorite stories about Elisha comes from 2 Kings 6, 13-23. The king of Syria just found out that Elisha, the prophet of Israel's God, had been obstructing him at every turn, keeping him from being able to attack Israel. God had been telling Elisha all the Syrians' plans, so the king of Syria thought that if he could kill Elisha, he could overcome Israel. Do you see the fallacies in the king's thinking? (laughs) If God could tell Elisha where the Syrians were about to attack Israel, couldn't he also tell Elisha that the Syrian army was coming for him? So, just like the Israel army, Elisha could have easily escaped well before the Syrians arrived. That would make sense. But that wasn't God's plan. He decided to show the Syrian army just a little bit of what he was capable of. So let me read to you what happened. The king of Syria sent horses and chariots and a great army to Elisha's house, and they came by night and surrounded the city. And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to Elisha, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So Elisha answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Now let me just stop right here for a second to say that we can use this verse too. Anytime we find ourselves surrounded by impossible circumstances, we can take Elisha's advice to his servant. First, do not fear. That's important. Because when we let fear control us, we end up making stupid mistakes and ultimately not trusting the Lord. When we feel fear creeping into our hearts, we should remember those who are with us are more than those who are with them. In other words, our God is bigger than this problem I'm facing. Not only does he see my circumstances, but they don't take him by surprise. In fact, My circumstances are part of his plan, and he is totally in charge. Elisha's servant, waking up to horses, chariots, and enemies surrounding them, didn't realize this. His first instinct was fear and panic. I know I can relate to that. I go into panic mode way more frequently than I'd like to admit. But when the servant showed Elisha the problem, he didn't even slightly panic. Why? because he was seeing with spiritual eyes. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Can you just imagine this scene? The great army of the Syrians must have looked like ants compared to the angelic hosts surrounding them. And they had no idea. They thought that they had the upper hand. But Elisha and his servant knew better. And so do we. The Syrians were blind to the spiritual war going on there. God could have crushed them and they would have had no idea what happened. But in his mercy, God had Elisha pray for physical blindness to go along with their spiritual blindness. And eventually he allowed them to go home without any bloodshed at all. What if our spiritual eyes were always opened? What would we see? We would realize that the things that come against us come from Satan and his demons. He wants to make us fear, get discouraged, and focus on our circumstances instead of on God. But we would also see the hosts of heaven and realize how those who are with us are more powerful than Satan and his demons. As Paul tells us, We should put on the armor of God because this is a battle. And we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. If we're fighting on God's side, we know we will win. 
so we don't need to fear. What spiritual battle are you fighting today? Are your spiritual eyes open? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through His Word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.